Hello! Hey, what's hey, up, man? What's up? Welcome to yet another edition of Fifth Grade Math. Fifth Grade Math! Today, we are going to be embarking upon a system of measurement that the rest of the world uses. Yeah. But, but not, not us here in America. Because <laughs> we're stubborn. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, what you wearing, bud? Just realized uh, you're not wearing your typical shirt. No, I got a new shirt. Yeah, what's it's, it say? Uh, it says Starfleet Academy. Oh. And I'm a cadet, see? Are you? Yeah. Have you been doing some shoulder presses? Because it looks like your shoulders are a lot bigger. <laughs> no, uh, those are just this t-shirt. I have noodles for arms, and so I think it just uh, doesn't quite fit right in a normal shoulder. Does it have shoulder pads like it's from the 80s? No, no. Actually, it's because of the way it's folded over, because to get a t-shirt for me, I actually had to get a baby onesie. What was that? Baby onesie. A baby onesie? Is that what you're wearing? Oh, that's what the buttons at the bottom are for. Yeah, I just don't snap them. Yeah, well, that's because Nothing you're... else fits me. Well, thankfully, you are potty trained. So, <laughs> that you we know don't... of. <laughs> Is that why that plant died? What? No, maybe. Never mind. Let's move on. <laughs> anyway, yes, I am a cadet, just like Wesley Crusher. I'm at Starfleet Academy. Someday I'm going to go up into space. Well, you are a space cadet. That yeah. is absolutely I true. I am. That's true. I'm going to be on Space Force someday. I don't know if that's going to keep going, to yeah. be honest. The person who came up with Space Force... No. Well, if there's a Space Force, I'm there. I'm just saying, the person whose idea that was... Yeah, well... Not the best at ideas. Yeah. So, you Sometimes. know. Broken clock is twice. Right, twice. A day. Did I get that right? Yeah, I, I feel like this clock didn't even have numbers on it. But anyway, <laughs> um, let's move okay, on. Okay, moving on! All right, so, today, we are going to be learning about the metric system! Ooh! It they sounds, use that at the Starfleet Academy. Yeah, it sounds spooky, but it's actually really easy, because it's all based on tens! <laughs> tens?! I love tens. And what are they tens? They have patterns. I was gonna say, what are tens full of? Patterns. 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 I yeah. love tens. Yeah. So Let's learn patterns. the metric system. Okay, you ready? Yeah. All right. Totally ready. We'll be right back. All right. Okay. So, metric units of length, which are how we measure how long something is. Okay. We are going to focus on these three. There are other prefixes that go with metric units of length, but we don't really use them much. And if you can master these three, you're going to be okay. okay? Yeah. So, But before we get into the unit itself that we measure the most with, we're going to talk about the prefixes. So, kilo means one thousand of, okay? Yeah. One thousand of whatever it comes before. And we'll get to what it comes before in just a minute. It's a so word like, you've all heard before. Okay. I eat... A kilo taki a week of takis. Yes, that would mean you eat a thousand takis a week, and that is probably an underestimate. Because <laughs> if you're eating kilo two, takis. if you're eating two to three family size bags a day, and there are two hundred of them in each bag, you're mm. you're putting down a couple kilo takis every two days or couple so. Couple kilo takis. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. Okay. Sente means one hundred in. Or one one hundredth, okay? Mm. It's a big jump, all right? So when you see that prefix centa, it means that one hundred of them make up one hole. And we're, again, we're going to talk about what the one hole is in a minute. It's a meter. So like, we're going to talk about what a meter is in just a minute. The only other time I hear centa is in centipede. Right, that means it has a hundred legs. Cent, like dollars and cents. Oh, yeah, cent, cents. Cent means oh. one hundred, okay? It's a prefix that means one hundred. Like okay. a century is how many years? No, oh, it's 100 years. It's 100 years. Century! Cent! Ah. Yeah, not an Amazing. Accident. Okay? Okay. And milla, you might think milla means million, but it's 1,000 in. Oh. Okay, one 1,000. Like so wait, 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 wait. Is the difference between a centipede and a millipede, a centipede has 100 legs and a millipede has 1,000 legs? That's the idea. What? Yep. They're extra creepy. They are. Yeah. We don't like bugs. Oh, those in this little house. legs. Although you do look like you're part anteater. Yeah. <sighs> Sucking up all the good stuff. The ants? Takis. 
let's move on. Okay. So when we refer to all these things, we're referring to meters, okay? So a kilometer, we don't say kilometer, we say kilometer, which oh, you've yeah. probably heard before. Kilometer, nobody ever says that. But kilometer. Kilometer means a thousand meters. All right. Okay? And it's comparable in length to a meter, it's shorter, but 1,000 M, okay? So, right. but a kilometer is, you know, it's 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 a longish distance, you know, it's, yeah. it's like two thirds of a, a mile. Like you could walk a kilometer in a few minutes, okay? Oh. So, so like when we have to do the mile in gym class, the kilometer would be easier? Yes. I'm gonna suggest that. So like if you ever run a 5K or a 10K? Oh, 5K. A 5K. Five five kilometers! A 5K is five kilometers. If you oh. know somebody who's ever done a 5K, you can run a 5K in about, what, like 10, 15 minutes maybe? Oh. Well, it's like three miles, so more than that, maybe like okay. 20 minutes. Okay, so it depends on how fast you are. I couldn't do it in 10 minutes, but somebody probably could. Yeah. Okay, so. Okay. Well, three miles in 10 minutes, that's pretty fast. Probably not, but maybe, yeah. maybe 15. I mean, are we trying to do the 10 minute mile in gym class? Yeah, so if you're doing the 10 minute mile, you could probably do a kilometer in about six minutes. Okay? Oh. So centimeter, okay? Now we're taking a big jump because it's much smaller. Okay? Weeny It means there are a hundred of them in every meter. So let's talk oh. about a meter itself, okay? A meter itself is kind of like a yard, all right? It's like a little bit bigger than a yard. You remember how many feet were in a yard? Three? Three, right? So a meter is a little bit bigger than three feet. So like oh. a meter and a lot of other parts of the world, people measure their heights in meters. And oh. like somebody who's two meters tall is really tall. They're yeah. like six foot six. Whoa. Okay? Yeah, a meter is about 39 inches. How many meters are you? I'm like one and a half, maybe a little bit more. Oh. Like 1.6, 1.7. Like I'm not, I'm not two meters. Two meters is like a foot taller than me. Okay. So I'm also not very tall. So, yeah. So a centimeter is one one hundredth of a meter. So if we split one meter into a hundred parts, one part would be a centimeter. Right, there are a hundred centimeters a in story. a meter, okay? So yeah. to give you an idea of how big a centimeter is, and we'll grab a ruler and look at it in just a minute. Yeah, okay? I think I need to look at this. Wait, is that that side of the ruler I never use? Yes, you know what, the ruler's on that chair over there. Do you think you can go get it? Uh, yeah, hold on. Okay. I'm right. a cadet, I can get stuff. He'll be right back. Okay, all right, okay, all right. I think I got this. Okay, all right. Here you go. Thank you. Thank you for not putting it in your mouth. Yeah, I, I thought know, about I it. I know you wanted to. Yeah, but I've been okay. working these arms. So I'm a cadet now. That top side of the ruler, that's the inches, right? Let me see. Yeah, get my nose. Okay. But yeah, this side this is the centimeters. And as you can see, which one's bigger, inches or centimeters? Uh, inches are bigger. Inches are bigger. And a centimeter is less than an inch. In fact, an inch is about two and a half centimeters. Okay? Oh. So they're little. All right? But yeah. do you see those tiny little lines inside each centimeter? Yeah. Those, a whole bunch of them. those are millimeters. Oh. Millimeters are real small. Because there's a thousand of them in a meter. Oh. Yeah. So instead of cutting that meter into a hundred parts, we cut it into a thousand parts. That's right. A millimeter. A thousand tiny little parts. A millimeter is real tiny. Itty bitty 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 bitty. Okay, there are ten millimeters in every centimeter. Okay. Okay. And there are a hundred centimeters in every meter. Which means there are a thousand millimeters in every meter. Whoa. It's one one thousandth of a meter. Whoa. Okay? So they're small. But the cool thing is that if you wanted to convert between them, you're just multiplying by powers of 10 or dividing by powers of 10. Hmm. So if I said, if I had three kilometers, well, how many meters would that be? Uh, 3,000. Right, because it's just three times 1,000. Oh. Okay. That's not bad. No, and you're never, you can convert from kilometers to centimeters, but we're not going to focus on that because we, we just don't do that in real life. Okay, you might, you'll go from kilometers to meters, and you'll go from meters to centimeters, but no one's going to ask you how many centimeters are in four kilometers. I mean, they might, and then you got to multiply 100 times 1,000 times whatever number of kilometers it is, but we're not, we're not going to focus on that today. Okay. Oh, okay. Right. Because if you get a problem like that, you're going to have to use your brains to figure it out. But you know what? That's not how real life works. No one's going to ask you. 
Well, yeah. you went four kilometers. How many centimeters was that? No one's going to But you need that. to know that it's a lot of centimeters. It is. That, yep. that you need to know the meaning of it. Well, right? you know, you could say four kilometers is 4,000 meters and 4,000 meters times 100 centimeters is 400,000. But, yeah, it's a lot. You don't. That is a lot. It's not something we do in life. Okay. Uh -huh. Fun fact, though, a thousand times a thousand gives you a kilometer. There are a million millimeters in a kilometer. Whoa! But the milli is not for million. It's for the thousand that are in a meter. Where okay. do they get those uh, names from? Latin, the language. Yeah. Oh. Like if you speak Spanish, un mil is a thousand. So like millimeter, oh, mil. Oh! Oh! Yeah. Okay. Oh. So we're going to take a little break and we're going to come back and we're going to look at like a conversion chart. Will you measure my nose? Yes. Okay. Hold still. Hold on. Ow. Six inches. Whoa! Impressive. You I'm wanna, growing! You want to do centimeters? Yeah, yeah. Okay. 16 centimeters. Whoa. It's quite a schnoz. It is. It's All quite right. impressive. We'll be right back. All right. Okay. Hello. We're back. Yes. Okay? So, what we have here, we think of it as a conversion chart. Okay? And we haven't put any numbers on it yet, but we're going to. Okay. Okay? So, when we're converting things, remember, when we go from bigger units to smaller units, just like we did with feet to inches, we actually multiply. Oh. Okay. If you remember why we multiply, it's because you're going to have more of the smaller unit taking up the same space. This ruler is one foot, but it's got 12 inches in it and like 30-something okay. centimeters. Okay. Yeah. So the smaller the unit, the more of them they're going to be. Exactly. So yeah. when we go from kilometers to meters, we're going to multiply. What do you think we're going to multiply by? What do you remember about kilo? Mm. Thousand. Thousand. It's gonna be times. Kilo dockies. Thousand. Times one thousand. Okay. Okay. And when we go from meters to centimeters, okay. what are we gonna multiply by? One hundred. One hundred. No, oh, I want to roll. Okay. Now, I'm going to do the next one, and then things will get a little tricky. What? Yes. No. No. So from meters. To millimeters, what are we multiplying by? Ooh. Remember what milli meant? Thousand. It's a thousand. Again. Thousand! Okay. So, now we have one little section here that I want to talk about. Yeah. Centimeters to millimeters. Yeah. How do, do you remember do how I told you how many millimeters are in each centimeter? Um, yeah. Let me... There were like 10 little bitty lines in one centimeter. There ten are millimeters. 10. Okay. Okay. So because there's 100 centimeters in a meter, there's 10 millimeters in each of them. And what's 100 times 10, buddy? Uh, a thousand? Not a coincidence. Whoa! There it is! What's our favorite word in math? What? I don't know. It's a pattern. A pattern! Yeah! A pattern. So <laughs> to go from centimeters to millimeters, you're multiplying by 10. Okay. okay. Now, to go the other way. What? Well, all we got to do is flip the sign. The number doesn't change. Oh, divide. We're just going to divide. By 10. Divide. Okay. Or patterns thereof. Okay. Divide by 100. Yep. Don't forget that big one in green. Yep. Divide by 1,000. Okay, and I know okay. the division sign's on like a weird side, but just because we're going this way, I want the division sign to be there, okay? Oh, okay. We're not doing a thousand divided by something. We're dividing by a thousand, okay? Oh. So we know which way we're going, okay? Okay, so if it, it would be like three meters we'll put some divided we'll put by some a thousand would give you a very small amount of kilometers. Is that it? Yes. And that would actually end up as a decimal, and right. that would involve moving the decimal when we divide by a power of 10. We we'll did that. Yeah, we'll get to that. Beginning of the year. We're going to cover that in this hoppity, lesson. Hoppity, hoppity, okay? hop. Yeah. Right? We'll do, we're going to do yeah. a couple conversions, and at least one of them will involve decimals, okay? Okay, let's do this. I'm a cadet. I'm ready. You're my space cadet. That's for <laughs> darn sure. Okay. So, let's say I wanted to go... I had five kilometers, 
Okay. And I wanted to turn that into meters. How do I go from kilometers to meters? What do I do? Uh, times a thousand. So do it. Five thousand. Exactly. That's uh, all there is to it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's not overly complicated. All right. All right. Five let's, kilometers is five thousand meters. Right. Let's say I had seven meters. Yeah. And I wanted to put it into centimeters. Well, how far is that? How many is that? Times a hundred. Yep. Seven hundred. Seven hundred. See? The nice thing about the metric system yeah. is that all the conversions are powers of 10. Yeah. So everything's base 10, which makes a lot of sense because 10 is the number that makes all of math work. Oh. Whereas here in America, we got 12s and 36s. Yeah. And Why did we use the system? Because we're American. We just have to be different sometimes. <laughs> or maybe it's because change is hard. It is. But... We're stubborn. We're really stubborn here <laughs> in a lot of things. So uh, let's move on. All right. Um, okay. So let's say I had six meters. Okay. And I wanted to convert that to millimeters. Mm. How many would that be? Mm. Meters to millimeters. Oh, that's the green. Times a thousand. Times a thousand. Right? Six thousand little millimeters. Oops, I made a little mistake. Uh, nobody's 6, perfect. 000. That's true. You're close. Patrick Stewart is close. No, Patrick Stewart is close. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Captain Picard. That's right. Okay. So, and yeah, I know this is all in black, but you get the idea. Okay? Use okay. the chart up here to make your conversion. So, and if I wanted to do, let's say I had five centimeters, and yeah, I wanted yeah. to take that into millimeters, mm. how many would that be? Times 10? Times 10. 50. 50. Okay. Oh. That's a little bit longer than a Wait, ruler. my nose is 16 centimeters. Right, so multiply that by 10 to get millimeters. I'd have 160 millimeters of nose. You do have 160 millimeters of nose. <laughs> okay, so now the multiplication part, okay, pretty simple. Let's try it with a decimal just to make sure we know okay. what we're doing, okay? All right. Let's say we had 2.5. Oh. Five Ooh. kilometers. Yeah. That's two and a half. And we wanted to figure out how many meters that was. Well, we take our 2.5 and we get ready to move our decimal. Oh, we're going to do some hoppity hoppity hops. Right. Now, if I'm multiplying by a thousand, how many hoppity hoppity hops am I going to make? Three zeros, three hops. Three zeros, three hops. I put my decimal there. I fill in my spaces with who? Zero, my hero. I haven't mentioned his name in a while. Welcome back, buddy. Love okay. Zero. I okay. Love you. True love never dies. So how many is this? Uh, two thousand five hundred. Exactly. Oh. Okay. So if you have a decimal, not so bad. You're just you're just moving it. However many just zeros, spots. Okay. Bum, 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 it gets a little bit trickier when we divide. But not much trickier. Just a little bit. You want to show me? Yes, absolutely. Okay, I'm ready to learn. Okay. Let's say I had. Okay. 657 meters. Ooh, okay. And I wanted to convert that into kilometers. Okay. Well, how do I turn meters into kilometers? Divide by a thousand. I do divide by a thousand. Now remember, to divide by a power of 10, instead of moving the decimal to the right when we multiply, we move it to the left. To the left, to the left, to the left. That's right, but I don't have a decimal, buddy. Where's it gonna go? Oh, I love it, we're way back on the bot! <laughs> He's been waiting to say that for months. I'm on, so excited. On the butt. On the butt. It goes on the butt. The posterior of the yes, number. Yes. The end of the number. The posterior. And how many Otherwise, spots are we going to use? The butt. Uh, three. Three zeros. One, two, three. Three spots. Boom, boom, boom. And it would be point oh. six, five, Wait, I know seven. how to say that number. Yeah, how do you say it? 657 thousandths. Of a kilometer, correct? Yeah. That's less than one whole kilometer. You need a thousand meters to equal one whole kilometer. Yeah. Okay? Whoa. Let's do, let's do another so one. 657 where... meters isn't even one whole kilometer. Correct. Because it's not a thousand. Oh, boom! Right. My brain, it's on fire! We'll do one more and then we'll do a recap, okay? Okay, all right. So, what if I had 438 centimeters? Mm. And I You're wanted not to. not going to have a meter. I'm not? You are. It's not going to be an exact meter. It's not going to be a whole meter. But I want to turn that into meters. Well, if I go from centimeters to meters, what am I doing? That's 100. And what am I dividing or multiplying? Dividing. So, 438 divided by 100. Oh, don't have a decimal. What am I going to do? The butt! The butt! 
I put my decimal at the end of the number, which is, scientifically speaking, the butt. Posterior. The butt, yes. But. And I'm dividing by 100. So how many spots am I going to move in? Uh, three. For 100? Two. Two. Uno, dos. There we are. My new answer is 4.38, or 4 uh, and 38 but hundredths. But you wouldn't have a kilometer, but that's for sure. It would you definitely not. No, 4.38 yeah. meters is like the other side of the room. Oh, okay. So, yeah. All right. Okay? Woo! So we're going to recap. We're going to talk about everything. But really, what you just need to do is practice, which your yeah, teachers will help you do. Okay? I, get, I get carried away. But, you know, it's been so long since we talked about putting stuff at the end of a number or where. The butt. Yeah, you know, like, it's it's exciting to come back to this. It all it loops is. back together. Loops. I see what you did there. See, because those loops, loopity loops. Just another pattern. Loops. Just another pattern. Yeah. So many patterns. So many patterns. All right. All right. Woo! So let's do a recap, and then we'll call it a day. Recap. Okay, we'll be right back. All right. Okay, so to recap, I'm going to make this quick because we've already spent 20 minutes on this and y'all need to go practice, okay? Okay. So, kilo means 1,000 meters, kilometer, 1,000 meters. And you're going to see kilo again when we do weight and we do liquid too, which will be oh. later in the week. Oh. Centi, you're never going to see centi again unless we're talking about length, okay? Okay. Centi, 100 in a meter. It means 100 of them make up a meter, okay? Milla, you're going to see milla again. That means a thousand of them in a meter, or we're going to talk about grams and liters a little bit later. Oh, or they okay? say like so many mills. Yes. That's a liquid thing. Yes, that's a liquid thing. We'll get to that later. Yeah. Okay? Next video. Okay. Okay. So, All right. To go from kilometers to meters, you multiply by a thousand. Meters to centimeters, multiply by a hundred. Centimeters to millimeters, multiply by ten. Meters to millimeters, multiply by a thousand. Woo! And then you just do it, back it up, and reverse it the other way. Back it up and reverse it. That's right. Okay? All right. So... Okay. Keep that in mind. Use this chart. Maybe make one of these charts with mind. your teacher. Okay? Keep oh, for yeah. yourself. All right? Yeah, that'd be a handy little thing to put on a note yeah. card. Yeah, well, I haven't made one of these on a computer yet. We usually do these in class. But you know what? I'm going to make a digital version of these. Ooh. And you'll have one to use. Fancy. I'll share it with your teachers in the district. Okay? Yeah. Oh, okay. If you're watching this somewhere outside of New Mexico on YouTube, thanks yeah. for watching, but you're not one of my students. Yeah. So. No, hide all the schools. Make your own. Right? All right. Hi, Coach D. Hello. Hi, Vern Leo. Hi, Placidas. Who else watches us? San, San Domingo. Hi, San Domingo. Oh, that's a great place. Yeah. They got good views. They do. It's a beautiful yeah. part of the world. They all have good views. All right, buddy. We got to go. Yeah. Bye, bye, guys. Until next time.